Hey guys, KG7TUL here with a quick tip on how to avoid spinning dials and punching in frequencies on your handheld radios or even your bass and mobile radios uh, when you're using Chirp. So come up here to File and you select that. Come down to New and left click. You'll get a generic untitled CSV file come up and give it a second. It'll show all the frequencies that are in there. There are only two. This uh, show empty right here is a toggle. Click on that and you'll see that there's two entries, one zero and 1000. So left click and simply hit the delete key. Left click on the remaining one and hit the delete key. Now you have none. Come back over to show empty and hit that. It will repopulate, it's just a toggle. So now we have an empty CSV file. We're going to come up to radio, left click, we're going to go to import from data source, move over to the right, and I prefer repeater book, and then keep moving to the right. You have two choices here, political query or proximity query. I'm going to show you the political query. So left click, and we get a little pop-up. You select the state, the county if you want to re-narrow it down, or all, and the band. Click OK, and give it a moment. It's going to do a little work and pop up with a list of data. Now you can go through here and uncheck these boxes or you can simply come down here to OK, left click that and give it a moment, the screen will go blank and then it will populate with all the repeaters in the state of Oregon. Now my handy talkie is only 2 meter and 70 centimeters so we're going to edit this. I'm going to left click on 0 because there's nothing in there so we're going to come down to 11. 145 is the 2 meter band so we do want that. I'm going to come down to 11. I'm going to hit shift and hold it then left click. Move up into the highlighted area. Your colors may be different. Right click. Come down to delete and move to the right and select the shift block up. Left click. It's going to do a little work there with the pop-up and when it comes back number 12 will now be number 0. There we go. Now I'm going to come over to the scroll and I'm going to slide down with the slider because there are a lot of repeaters in Oregon. These are all 2 meter and when we get to the end of 2 meter there we go there's going to be some oops went too far. Come back over here and slide up a bit. There we go. So here's the end of two meters right here. Now we don't have the commercial 220s so I'm going to highlight those. So left click on that 184 come down to 434 is in 70 centimeters so I'm going to come down to 200 hold the shift key left click move into the highlighted area right click and again delete and then and shift block up left click those will disappear. Unfortunately, we're going to have to come back over here and use the slider. See how that comes smaller and smaller. When it stops moving, go ahead and slide it down. Come down to the end of the 440s or the 70 centimeter band by scrolling on down. And there are a lot. There we go. There's the end. So 446.275 is the last in the 70 centimeter. Then we go to 927. So I've highlighted the last one, the first one after the 70 centimeter band. Move on down to the end. I'm going to shift, hold, left click, move into the highlighted area, right click, come down to delete, move right, and shift block up, left click. Does a little work. And we're going to watch the scroll area over here. See how it gets smaller and smaller. And then we're going to slide all the way down because for some reason there will be another frequency at the bottom, I bet you. Oops, went too far because shouldn't have gone all the way to the bottom. And sure enough, 408. Left click. Since there's only one, we're going to simply hit the delete key again. And now we have every 2 meter and 70 centimeter repeater in the state of Oregon in our file. Now you could come up here and file save or save as so that you can put it where you want it and you would have this data in your computer for future use. Now some things may change but the vast majority of the data will remain the same. So because there's so many channels, 407 I believe we have now, 407 channels my radio takes 128. So after you've downloaded your radio so that you have the radio profile you can clear it out and copy whichever ones you want from this list into your radio without spinning dials and punching frequencies. Hope this helps. Please subscribe and tell your friends.